Let's bring in, she's got a lot of expertise in this area, cybersecurity attorney, Lisa Garber. Lisa, when you heard the story, what was your reaction? Because we've got Senator Tom Cotton tweeting that Google deserves condemnation, that senators are taking note of this. Next time Google needs congressional help. Elon Musk says the woke mind virus is killing Western civilization. AI is not real. It's made up by humans. Critics have said it's kind of like artificial flavoring. It's a major misstep, obviously, for Google's Gemini chatbot, but it's also a major misstep for AI algorithms in general. And we have every major big tech player trying to get into this market. There's trillions of dollars at stake. And right now, this mistake has actually opened the floodgates to consumer mistrust, which is obviously bad for business. But at the same time, it's opened the floodgates to show that maybe these AI chatbots and AI algorithms are not quite ready for prime time. And it's not just the problem of creating, of generating content like racially diverse popes, right? It's also problems of misinformation, disinformation, deep fakes, non-consensual pornography, bias, all of these issues that we have at the heart of what creates AI, which is humans. You know, it's interesting. This is coming as we're witnessing stock market history. Artificial intelligence is changing the world. NVIDIA is now the fourth largest public company. It's about to overtake Google's parent alphabet. It's beating Wall Street expectations just about every metric. It's more than tripled its revenue growth. 265% revenue growth. But, you know, AI is also what this story is showing. It's indicative of the corporate culture, the people who create it, right? Of course, Liz. And really what these new dollar signs should show us is that AI is definitely at the forefront. Every company wants in, again, trillions of dollars at stake. And NVIDIA was at the forefront to begin with. They were with ChatGPT way before anybody else was. And they're developing all of these hot button uh, products in the AI field. And they're only going to get more and more dollar share market share as they proceed. But that's not to say that Amazon and Google and other startups will not come through, too. Right. The issue is there's no regulation. And this is transformative technology. That's it. This is about also affecting the national conversation. A middle, uh, an election year, too. I mean, this art, AI, the word is hitting the 2024 election. That's an issue. And also this, the conversation is being manipulated already. We see that in the media. For example, Democrats resurrecting their old playbook about Russian interference in the 2024 election, attacking Trump, saying without proof he could be a Russian asset. Watch this. That's the problem that we're encountering with some of my Republican colleagues that um, there's a growing pro-Putin faction yeah. in the Republican Party, and it's led by Donald Trump. It now appears as if the House Republican majority is being used by Russia to interfere in the 2024 election. Well, I, I, I think that all of this doesn't really get to the core of the problem with the Biden family, which is even if all this is true, even if the, the Russian intelligence agency snuck in some bad intel through this Smirnoff guy, there's still lots of tax money that has to be accounted for. Yeah, John Yu was talking about the Hunter Biden and the Biden family, you know, allegations of corruption, selling government influence. But getting back to what this issue is, the pressure brought to bear in the American voter, the American population, from AI, from the conversation being manipulated, they want and deserve the truth. Final word, Lisa. We need authentication measures. Social media hasn't figured it out. They're attempting to watermark content to show it's original and real. But the U.S. government hasn't even taken a step forward. We have all of these proposals at the state, federal, executive level, but nothing's come through. And this is not a new problem, Liz. It goes back to 2020. We're still dealing with it. Got it. Lisa Garber, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's good to see you. Thank you. Coming up, we've got Congressman Chip Roy from